Hi, and welcome to episode 5 of Slick's Video Guide to the News Groups. In this episode, we're going to talk about the different file types that make up a Usenet archive. But today, we're in front of the world-famous New York City Public Library. Like any library, it's designed to be well-organized to provide information to its users. The news groups are well-organized, too. A typical Usenet archive is made up of many different file types, including RAR files, PAR2 files, split files, SFB files, and NFO files. All these files work together to provide you with the information you want. How do they do this? We'll show you how. The most common file type that makes up a Usenet archive is a RAR file. This file type is widely used because it does a great job in compressing and splitting up files. RAR files are easily identifiable on the news groups. They are typically numbered in sequence as shown here. The newest versions of WinRAR name files starting with part 01 and then progress onward. Previous versions of WinRAR start with RAR, and then sequence the files with R00, and so on. Both these systems are widely used today. Part 2 files are a big reason why the news groups remain relevant today. Part 2 files typically look like this. They have a small indexing Part 2, and the rest are repair files. Part 2 files can repair any missing or damaged sections of an archive. This is a very important characteristic. When files propagate throughout Usenet, a few messages may get dropped or damaged along the way. In the past, this was bad news because without the entire archive intact, the file couldn't be reassembled. Part 2 files calculate which bits need to be repaired and then execute the repair. This is all seamless today, as modern binary newsreaders automatically pulls the Part 2 files it needs from the news groups and repairs the archive. If you're looking for high quality access to the news groups, check out Red Orb News at www.redorbnews.com for all these great features at low prices. A few other file types are worth mentioning quickly. Sometimes archives are split up without being compressed. These are called split files and look like this. A program called HJSplit can be used to put these archives back together. Another file that is often found is an SFV file. This file is like a neutered version of a Part 2 file in that it will identify any damage in an archive but has no way to repair it. That's it for Episode 5. Remember, if you have any more questions, just go to www.slick.com forward slash ng where there's an active community willing to help. Thanks for joining us. Look out for Episode 6 coming soon.